Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something different, but something I've been wanting to do. There's, there's this tail. So I've seen on Instagram just very briefly some snippet of the new Happy Planner spring release. And I intentionally haven't gone in and like really looked at everything because I thought, wouldn't it be fun to just do like a reaction video and just react to, you know, give my like first impressions of these products. And I will say just to preface, I'm going to go into this. I'm going to be 100% honest. Okay. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, I, I don't really, I'm going to just be honest. Either I like it or I don't. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to point that out because this time last year, I would have seen something from Happy Planner, which was the brand that I was standing. I was basically only purchasing from Happy Planner. I felt like because I was trying to get on the Happy Planner squad, I'm really glad that I didn't. Um, I was afraid to say anything negative about the Happy Planner. And so if I saw something, you know, this time last year, um, you know, a product from them that I didn't like, I wouldn't on camera say, oh, that's hideous or, oh, I don't like that. This year, I'm a much different person, um, thankfully. So we're going to just, we just go in and just get started. One more thing, quick note from the editor. Um, just because I hate some of this stuff or don't like it, if you like it, I'm not trying to offend you. It's just personal taste. So I just want to put that out there. Don't take offense. This is just for fun. Also, I did film reactions to every single product, but the video ended up being like two hours long and I know y'all don't want to see that. So I have just highlighted the best parts. So I hope you'll forgive me for that. I just, okay, let's get, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So I've opened up the Happy Planners website and you'll see here they have preview the new Disney collection, which I definitely want to do. And then they also have, if it will scroll over, let's just go here spring 2021 collection this is what i'm trying to get to okay so this is the spring 2021 collection of their new planners and like i said i've seen like tiny little snippets on instagram but i haven't really looked so we're just going to go in here and hit preview the collection we're just going to start going through Ooh, okay first off this sticker pack or the sticker book i need this um, wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is like, these are my colors and oh my. Yeah, that's definitely one I would, I, yeah, I want that. Okay, so here we have our 2021 Life in Bloom Classic Horizontal. I will say this time last year, I would have literally like, run out to pre-order this ASAP. First of all, the cover is purple. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. I love the flowers and the discs, the purple glitter discs. I would have lost my mind for that. Um, the These dividers aren't necessarily my style. Uh, choose joy. I absolutely hate that quote. That's, it's, it's pretty, okay? It's pretty. Actually, I didn't even look at, I'm so sorry. I didn't look at the actual layout. Okay, so there, the lines are, there's like yellow accents. I don't know if that's all the way throughout the planner or if it changes every month. You know, sometimes they change the color every month. Not sure. That one, it's okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. Um, this, this darker with the florals is definitely my vibe. I really like it. Um, I love these, oh, I love the dark colors with the florals. I just think it's so pretty. So you can see there's like confetti or like splatter, you know, on the side. So this is a notebook, this is not a planner. Um, this is something I would definitely buy, like just to have the filler paper and to have the discs in the cover, I'd buy that. Okay, this is a planner, so this obviously goes with the notebook we just looked at. I think it's just, oh, I think it's so pretty. And these these dark pages, now I hate Choose Joy. I hate, 
look, I'm going to go off on a little tangent, okay? And I, I know a lot of y'all disagree with me, and this is, like, so petty and stupid. Um, oh, here, let me, let me go back and, like, actually look at the layout. Yeah, it's just your, it's a neutral vertical layout, which is cool. I hate choose joy. I really hate choose happy. It, it's just like a pet peeve of mine. I hate it and I've always hated it, but I was always afraid to say anything. I hate it because as someone who suffers from, you know, mental illness, hearing choose happy, choose joy really rubs me the wrong way because I would love to be able to just tell my depression to get somewhere, um, but I can't. Obviously, I have ways to um, deal with it and to cope. And But just whenever I see choose happy, it just rubs me the wrong way. And I understand the other side of it, like, you know, see the bright side, like when things are going really bad, you know, choose to be happy. I, I get it. And I know they're not coming at it from like a, a place of like, you know, oh, people who are depressed, you're depressed, you just need to choose choose joy. I know that's not how they're, you know, it's not the message they want to convey, but it just bothers me. And it's just a pet peeve. That's my little tangent. Let's keep going. Okay. 2021 Life in Doodles, Classic Monthly Happy Planner. Now, this actually reminds me, the cover reminds me of my very first happy planner. I'm going to put a picture in here. Um, it just has that kind of same vibe. So I do like that. Don't like the discs. I think they really could have done something more creative, like pink or blue or red or like anything. Um, okay. I, I like some of these. I definitely like this one. I like the ice cream. Let's go on a road trip is cute. I don't really like this make some magic. It's okay. Um, eh. okay. It, it's just, it's just okay. Um, now this layout is pretty interesting. So this is a, a monthly layout. So there's no weeklies. It's just monthly. That was something I kind of wanted for a while. Um, not something that I need anymore. Just doesn't really fit in with my current lineup. But um, it's it's an interesting layout, and I think it's uh I think it'll work well for some people. So it's it's okay. All right, here we're just gonna look at this for like very briefly. It's just a snap in pouch. Don't wait for sunshine to be in the sunshine. Honestly, all right, y'all. Let let me just okay. <laughs> I said I was gonna be honest. I think this is ugly. I don't like it. Why is the design, why is it like up in the center? Why, like they could have made that a lot bigger. They could have centered that. I don't like the pattern. I don't, I don't like it at all. I know I have pouches from Dollar Tree that are much cuter and um, no, I'm good. So the sticker books are definitely what I'm most interested in personally, because you guys know I'm not gonna go out and buy a planner. I would buy a happy note, like just a notebook. Um, again, just to give myself more dividers, have a cover, some discs, whatever. Um, but I don't need a planner, I just don't. But the sticker books, happy planner stickers have always been good. And you know, I just, I just wanna say this briefly. I know I should have said this in the preface, but um, I have not purchased from happy planner in a very long time probably since about this time last year. Um, and then when Planner Geddon happened and everything, if you know, you know, in June, um, I decided not to support the brand anymore and I have not supported the brand at all. Um, but I have seen some changes and I have uh, really assessed and, and reflected. And for me, uh, sorry, I know this is like totally in a random it's random, but I need to mention this. For me, um, I am comfortable with incorporating some Happy Planner products into my collection, but I am so glad that I am no longer like a Happy Planner stand. Like I was only using Happy Planner stickers, had to use a Happy Planner. I used to want to like change my discs out and put like arc discs from Staples on it that didn't have the heart cut out. And I was like, oh no, it needs to be the Happy Planner. I'm so glad I'm not like that anymore. And I am going to be incorporating, you know, if there's something I really freaking love from Happy Planner, I'll buy it. Um, I will say I don't purchase from their website directly. I just, 
I like a bargain, so I usually wait for clearance and I get it at Michael's. But anyway, I, I just want to point that out. I'm not like, I'm not like backstepping. Like if some of you are like, oh, I thought she didn't use Happy Planner anymore. Um, I, I don't have a Happy Planner. I have a custom disc bound planner. It is not a Happy Planner. It's, I have made it myself using all different things. But if there's, like I said, if there's a Happy Planner sticker book, I really like, I'm comfortable purchasing it. I will not be purchasing it at full price. Um, I still am, you know, partial. I, I would really prefer to support, you know, small shops, support black owned businesses, support, you know, businesses run by single moms or single dads, just trying to, you know, just trying to create great products that they're passionate about and, and help them support themselves and their family. So I just prefer to shop small if I can, but I'm not opposed to buying a happy planner sticker book. That's my tangent. Okay. So this, I'm not, I don't, this is not my vibe. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I like the boxes, but the color, I don't know the, the palette, the no. Okay. Girl with gold's classic guided journal. I will say I'm intrigued by this. I like the cover. I like the purple and the black a lot. Most important project you ever work on is you. You can do anything. Take time to be proud of how far you've come. You got this. I'm waiting for one to say, choose happy. Monthly habit tracker listing things that help you choose your goals. This is interesting. And this is something that, honestly, I would rather just look at these and use this as inspiration to create my own um, rather than to buy this. But I think it's a great idea. I, I'm digging the vibe. If this was like on clearance or something, I'd buy it. I wouldn't pay full price for it, but it's it's cool. It's a great uh, great idea. And then you have the sticker book that accompanies the Girl with Goals guided journal. I do think this is pretty cute. I I really like the colors a lot. Um, not crazy about this like tan or like taupe color. I really like these. Being humble, believe in yourself, focus on the goal. I like these. Again, I would purchase this on clearance. I'm not, I haven't seen anything so far that that knocks my socks off or that's like, oh my God, like I'm not like geeking out about any of this. So I hate the cover. The date is huge. This is your year. I think putting anything, I think putting that on anything is just, asking for it like we just went through 2020 which was a freaking disaster 2021 is just 2020 season two and just stop saying this is your year this ain't nobody's year we're just trying to get through okay i don't like this um i just don't like it and like they did my birthday month 30 like that it's so boring it's just boring it's boring i don't like it if you're like a super basic neutral person i could see you liking this but this is not my jam at all. This is pretty cute. It's just pretty cute. I like it. I like there's a lot of functional stickers in here as well as decorative. I like these. This is cute. I would I would buy this on clearance. I'm I'm not gonna like have to run out and get it. Um, but it's and again it's twenty five dollars. It's you know, it's cute. This is this is pretty cute. Um, I I like these if I, this. Oh my God. This one that says better together is hitting me right in my heart. Cause that's me and my husband's song, Jack Johnson. Oh, that is cute. Um, this, is, this is pretty cute the way they did the days of the week here. That's, that's pretty cute. Um, honestly, that's probably my favorite of the planners so far. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just going to come out with an unpopular opinion just out the gate. I am not a fan of leopard print. I love cats, but leopard print, really kind of animal print in general. I, I really like giraffe print because I love, like giraffes are my favorite animal. Um, and I like the way giraffe print looks. Leopard print is just, I never have been crazy about it. So already I'm kind of turned off. Like the whole um, wild style thing where they had a leopard print that is not that is not my jam. 
Okay, so we're just gonna look in here. Um, me personally, I think this is ugly. Uh, this is not something I would ever consider buying. I just don't like it. I, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. Okay, a lot of functional boxes. I see Tiana. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. Bell, like, I really like the way these illustrations look. Cinderella, Ariel. Now, do we have Mulan? Okay, we have Pocahontas and Mulan. So I probably will buy this. Um, we have Moana. We have Aurora. Yeah, I, I, I like that one a lot. Um, I, because it's it's very functional. It's something I could use. I could use it for planning. I could use this for memory keeping. I could use it for like anything. Ooh, pretty. I like this one a lot. I like this one. I like this one. I honestly, I kind of like them all. Um, this could be something interesting for me to have to, you know, if there's ever a week where I want to just do a vertical layout or maybe just to use the monthly, I think I could, you know, incorporate that into my planner. Um, it's pretty cute. Strong at heart, removable decals. Now this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh yeah, we got my girl Mulan. Yeah, these are these are cute. Uh, big clear sticker planning guide. I think these are a freaking ripoff. Um, I remember when these came out and everybody was freaking out about them, but you know, you can lay down wax paper. You can get wax paper at Dollar Tree and you can lay down your stickers and like put it over your layout and see what it's going to look like. If you want to do that, um, I think it's a ripoff. Girl with goals accessory pack. Okay, so I see a lot of black and purple boxes, which I love. Oh man, there's a lot of little word stickers. I can't even tell what they say because they're so small. But it appears you get a lot of stuff in there. Um, that, I could buy that. I would. So I love the cover. Love it. Um, yes, this was like the one we saw earlier. I think the one we saw earlier was a mini, and this is a classic. It's very cute. It is. Okay, hi. Editing me again. Sorry. Um, so I actually recorded two parts. This video was originally going to be in two parts. And so I recorded on different days, and the camera is a little bit different the way it recorded. So my picture is smaller, and I apologize, y'all, but I didn't want to throw this this footage away because there's some really good stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I apologize. I'm making, I'm condensing it into one video now because I just am showing you the highlights, but um, I just wanted to point out that's why my outfit is different and the camera's different and, okay, back to the video. Okay, this is the one. This is the one I saw on Instagram and people were talking about how it looked like, <laughs> it looked like fruit stripe gum. Y'all, I'm gonna put a picture of that gum. I actually have some in the in the kitchen. My husband bought it for some weird reason. He was like, "Oh, I," uh, it was like nostalgic. I haven't had it since I was a kid, so I wanted to try it. And then we chewed it. And we're like, "Yeah, it tastes good," and it's gone. So anyway, um, I don't really have anything else to say. I just think it's ugly. Now these discs are these discs are interesting. Does it say like what this color is? Like are these they're like marbly? Oh hey, it's Libras. Um what is that? <laughs> Y'all, this is editing me, and I don't know why my my laugh was like silent throughout this, but it it's probably a good thing. That looks like something that a child it looks like a child took a marker and just went. That just took me out. I I can't. I I I can't I can't look at that. Um how to recenter yourself when feeling overwhelmed. I like that. Your soul's golden. All that. Um <laughs> that one's kind of like really you couldn't put something on it. Speak to yourself as you would your I 
I like these dividers a lot. Ooh, okay. I really like these. I like this design a lot. Moody florals, classic vertical. I'm into this moody florals thing. I am. I, I like it. Um, I, I do. I really like this. I love these dividers. I love the vibe. Don't like the yellow letters. But... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not going to buy it anyway, but I, I do really like those. Black and white value pack. This I'm interested in. Does this have? Yes. So we have a lot of black boxes over here. Um, I do. Sometimes I like to just do a, oh, yes, 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 yes. Those and these. Yeah, I would buy, I would buy this. Um, I really like to have just black and white layouts sometimes. And it's hard to find stuff that doesn't have foil or I mean, there's obviously gold in here, but I really like all the black stickers. I would definitely buy that. Okay, so out of everything that we looked at, there are a few things that stick out in my mind as things I would potentially buy. I will say right off the bat, um, there's nothing that made me like lose my mind. Like there's nothing that made me like geek out and, and flail and, and freak out like I do over things I get really excited about. Like, um, that's how, kind of how I felt about the personality crisis 2.0 babe box from the honeybee shop. It was like, oh my God, I need this. It was like, I was losing my mind. There's nothing here that makes me like react in that way. Um, but there are a few things that I would definitely consider purchasing. Again, none of them at full price. But this first sticker book that they have here, Beauty and Florals, I'm definitely interested in. I know this was in that bloom that be happy box or whatever it was called. Um, I, I really like that. So that's definitely something I'm going to, you know, put on my list. Again, I don't need any of the planners. However, the happy notes, I would always consider buying because just again, like just for the covers, the discs, the dividers, um, and just to have extra filler paper. I don't need a whole planner, but um, I did really like this one. I like this Beauty and Florals happy notes. And it is classic size. So I could just pop this paper is very neutral lined. I could put that right into my classic size disc bound planner and put these in there as well. Um, so I, I do, I, that one's on my list as well. This girl with goals I am interested in. I think it's really pretty. It's pretty much like my dream color story other than like this beigey, taupey color. All the purples, the grays, the blacks, very functional. Um, yeah, I definitely, I, I like that one. The guided journals, I actually um, would consider buying these just to have those inserts um, for maybe later when I, I feel like I might want to use those. Again, it depends on the price that you're getting it at. Like sometimes you can say, you know, with this coupon and the discount and everything, I'm getting a set of discs, I'm getting a cover, I'm getting dividers. And then you just happen to also get like the paper in there, you know? So sometimes if you can get it for like seven or eight bucks, it's worth it if you really love the discs or the cover, the dividers. Um, so that one I like, I'm not gonna put that on my list to purchase right away, but if I saw it on clearance, I probably would. Don't like jungle vibes, if you can't tell. I just don't like it. I really like these large stickers. I think those are so cool. Um, I like this filler paper. I really like this happy notes, but it's big. And I didn't see, I didn't see a classic size version of it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would really love a happy notes that's designed like that. I really like this sticker book as well. Cause it has a lot of, you know, boxes. It's very functional. I did really like, yeah, this was one I, I want to keep an eye on this accessory pack. And this is at Joanne. Um, I love that it has Pocahontas. She's one of my favorites. Um, and it has jasmine and it's, it's just, it's very pretty. I like, I would definitely, I would definitely purchase that. This is another one that I would probably get this actually over the one I just looked at the accessory pack. I would probably get this extension pack because you get these great dividers. You do get a folder, um, and you get these stickers. And I just think, I think these are so pretty and, you know, I'm not a huge fan of having the characters there on the left. I could obviously cover it. Um, but it wouldn't be something I would be using all the time. 
it would just be, you know, something to pop in if I just wanted to like change it up. Or maybe if I was really, you know, feeling like, oh, I really am in like a Disney mood. Um, or if I'm, you know, playing a trip to Disney World once I can get vaccinated and things are a little better and, and all that. Um, that. That is something I could see myself using. Is this the one with that? I can't, I, I can't, I can't deal with it. This, actually, I thought this was really pretty. It's not something I'm going to buy, but I, I really like it. I like that, that whole design, that whole vibe. And I kind of wish they just had a happy notes that was like that. Um, not in any of this stuff. Pretty much all the moody floral stuff I'm into. I don't need the whole planner. I really do like this black and white sticker book. I really like this planner, but I just don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So that's all the new stuff coming out um, for, you know, from the Happy Planner for the spring. And overall, I'm not super impressed, but I'm not surprised. Um, this is kind of what I expect from Happy Planner. And like I said, you know, this time last year, I would have been really like forcing myself to like, really forcing myself to love a lot of this stuff. And I'm just not in that place anymore. I'm not um, loyal to one brand. So I definitely am open to purchasing things from the happy planner. Um, but I'm not, I'm just not even in a, in a similar headspace at all anymore. I love being able to look at stuff and say, you know what? I really like that. Or that's not my vibe, you know? It, and I, I like some of this stuff, Again, even the stuff that I really like, like this sticker book, there's nothing that makes me like geek out basically. So it's fine. It's good for my wallet. I really don't want there to be a bunch of stuff that I'm like, oh my God, I need to run out and buy it. So it, it really ends up being a good thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There was a lot of stuff. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about these products. Is there anything that you are really looking forward to? Is there anything that you think is just hideous? Is there anything you think is gorgeous? Um, I want to know. I want to know it all. So leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you have not. It really helps out my channel. You can also turn on, you can click on the little bell to turn on notifications. So you will always be notified every time I upload. But um, oh, also follow me on Instagram at Planning with Gas. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.